Dear Penny clients, good afternoon. It's a great honor to be invited to have a sharing with you guys about the supply chain supplier in China. This is Suki Gao from Shenzhen, China, and managing partnership team in Great China Market. Different with Penny's business in other regions, our business in China, which is very focused, because 90% of our sales volume coming from cross-border e-commerce industry, which means most of the users in China are e-sellers on Amazon, eBay, and Shopify, etc. As you all know, Chinese sellers are also the second large population in Amazon, um, Amazon in terms of sales volume. For this, I think well-established supply chain make great contribution for today's sales performance. Also, because there are lots of subscribers in the markets, then the competition is intensive. For example, the cost of logistics in China is quite low. Same story on warehouse providers it are providing various uh, service by charging small amount of monthly fee. In other words, Chinese sellers are lucky, especially for new startups. It's rather than easy to join the market and become a e-seller in China. So the main job of my team in China is to build up the relationship with top and professional subscribers, integrate with them on payments. And besides payments, we're also thinking about how to leverage our existing ecosystem to help our global merchants like you guys. So first of all, as a payment company, we need to fix the cross-border payment issue. All payment users know that when you do business on Amazon, Walmart, you can use Payoneer as a, a tool to easily get paid. Recent year, as Payoneer ecosystem become more and more bigger, Payoneer payout function actually become more worldwide. We develop many payout tools, including in-network payments and out of network payments. In-network payments means both sides are Payoneer users, uh, out of payments, out of network payments means when the receiver has no payment accounts, we also allow our payment users pay balance directly to the receiver's bank. For most of our, our China top client, uh, top clients, partners like logistics, sourcing advertisements, they are all accepting payment balance, which means they are all in network users. For traditional manufacturers, suppliers, merchants can pay directly to their supplier's bank. Nowadays, in China, most of merchants' funds can be paid directly to their supply chain instead of withdrawal to bank. Come to today's scene, cross-border sourcing. We find out many merchants out of China more or less had experience sourced from China, either in through agencies or through some traditional B2B platforms. But comparing with B2B model, our B2C clients to source from China actually are facing more barriers. For example, it's hard to source from cross-border for so many SKUs with small quantity. Also, cross-border payments is not very convenient, or it's hard to find trust suppliers without need. So now I'm going to share with you three types of sourcing partners we have in, par uh, in China. Hopefully it can help your business in the future. The first one, we, uh, the name is CJ Dropshipping Platform. I give them a keyword, Shopee Lazada products, because most of Shopee products, especially for those low value products, CJ is a good place to source. For sure, you, you can pay directly on CJ by paying it. So besides, uh, besides Shopee, uh, Shopee products, actually this CJ dropshipping provides millions of SKUs. So their user profile global-wise actually are dropshippers, especially for small and home-based online entrepreneurs. They supporting API, not only Shopify, but also WooCommerce, Amazon, eBay, Shopee, Lazada. 
So they they provide end to end solution, which means if just one order, you can ask them to help you ship directly to your consumer. The second one, Gotham, which is different with CJ, is a platform with lots of good quality of outdoors and the furniture products. And because of their special category are many big pieces. So Gotham actually provide worldwide warehouse service, especially in US and EU countries. Many sellers are drop shipping their products, so they are good at supply chain management, fully match Amazon consumers' high standard requirements. The last one, called 168, some of you may know is a platform owned by Alibaba Group, and it is the biggest B2B sourcing platform in China for domestic markets. Most of our Wish, eBay, Shopee seller actually also source from this platform. So you can find, however, product whatever products you can find on this uh, on this platform because they have millions of suppliers. Unfortunately, this platform by far has no English service. But in order to help more global buyers, they launched a cross border payment program last year, supporting foreign currencies payments. The progress actually bring lots of value to global users because. Product cost on this platform is lower than any other cross-border payments, sorry, cross-border platforms. Average, you can save 10% to 20% comparing sourcing from AliExpress. Last but not least, Pena team also provide green channel service, help our global merchant set up buyer account on this platform. So feel free to contact our SEA team if you want to know more details about this partners. So at the end of my session, looking forward to hear more feedbacks and requests from SEA markets. As Pena staff, one of our most important mission is beyond payment, help our clients narrowing the gap of cross-border business. Thanks for watching and listening.